Still talking about making my pancakes. Now, I made four of them without anything. But one thing kind of got that second thought about was, wait a minute. Some people like to put things in pancakes, like chocolate chips, fruit, whatever, you know. Uh, uh, don't, don't stick, you know, things such as celery or bell peppers or... Or onions they don't go with a pancake but anyway let's talk about cooking it up first thing I got my pan in in the, in the medium heat I grab the tab and of course I'm going to butter my pan I'm gonna let the butter sit and realize okay uh, that means it burns the sugar, uh, salt out and we'll move the salt to the side like that now now that my pan is there it's hot it's ready I've got the last bit of my my pancake mix I'm going to use here for this one. Okay, I got that here. I've got this little bit of fruit I'm going to use. Now, this is a large one. Okay, it's a blackberry. Mm, good. And then these are some raspberry. Mm, going to be different. Usually I put in like black uh, blueberries. I like blueberries. My, daughter, my granddaughter likes chocolate chip. And you can do different things like Reese's Pieces. So, you know, the little uh, candy coat look like uh, M&M's, but they're Reese's Pieces. You can use those. But anyway, here's the pan. We're going to put, put this in by itself. Okay. All right. Once you've got it into a, a full head and it hasn't totally spread, this is where it's critical. You can take the the um, um, uh, the fruit or whatever, and you put it right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put them in the middle. And the reason why you do it this way is some people want to put it into the mix, but remember this: the mixture is a critical um, marriage of ingredients. And if you put a berry in there, you're going to have to take in consideration of different things, such as um, the uh, um, uh, uh, the baking powder that you had in there, the salt you put in there, the sugar you might have added, uh, and the water, because berries have water in them. Not so much chocolate chip, but still, it has different other ingredients. So let's do it this way. So, got my berries in it. I'm letting them sit. Remember, I say never touch a pan the pancake. Still true, except for I'm waiting for the outer edge to start its bubbling. Because once it's done that, it means the underside is already seared and cooked. But the center is not, and it's still really doughy. So when I flip it, it's going to want to go everywhere. So you got to be really, got to test this out. Try it out yourself. But right now, my edges are ready. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to push down on my spatula, slide it underneath the whole pan pancake, and just doop, do a flip. Ready? Here we go. Underneath it and over. And now I don't touch it again. The reason why I did it this way is because now the dough has dropped down around that fruit. So what's actually touching the pan now is just a little bit of the fruit, but more of the dough. And that's it. So once it cooks, and as you can see, here I'll take it off and let you see. See the nice golden, okay? Like I said, the other side was already cooked. It's just that that one area that you need to let it turn the dough so it oozes over the the item that you put in there, whatever it may be. Fruit, you know, whatever. Remember, blueberries do make good fruit for pancakes. I don't know about blue, uh, raspberries. This is going to be a test. But as I said, to the pan, 
to the plate. Get in my belly. Y'all have a super fine day. Hmm, wait a minute. You want to see what it looks like? You got it. More seconds. Hang on. Waiting for it to loosen up and start sliding around. Mm -hmm. Remember, on stainless steel pans, you can do this kind of stuff, but you got to watch it. Now, I got the fruit in there. I don't think it'll just slide around. I think I got to actually help it by going around the edges. You can see the moisture. I can see the moisture steaming out of that because of that fruit. Fruit has a lot of moisture in it. So it keeps the dough doughy. And so you got to kind of loosen it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. See what it did? See these black marks here? That's the fruit. Okay. That's all right. Let's see what it looks like. And there it is. Caramelized the fruit. Okay. The fruit is caramelized in the pancake. Pancake pops like it should nice and thing and that's a a fruity pancake <laughs> y'all take care keep your powder dry